1967. We might need to do an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm seeing kinda... as gas. <laughs> it's a 125 and we're gonna have fun riding. Mm -hmm. Do you have cigarettes? The force I'm going on. <laughs> it's got all the bells and whistles. You're riding like a sea rider. Shout out Dave's Hot Chicken. I'm ready to corkscrew it! <laughs> I think it's only a one hand Have you job. Ever heard spicy chicken sandwich flame. Corkscrew of doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right, let's get her done. You ain't hanging unless you banging. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back. It's uh, vlog seven. Today we're at Cahia Creek Motocross Track. And what do we have here? A couple 125s. The YZ 125, the KTM 125 SX. We are doing our 2024 125 shootout. We're going to shoot each bike individually and then all together, and then we're gonna get them out on the track. So we're doing it all one day. It's gonna be like 10 videos because we do raws too. A little hectic, but uh follow along and uh enjoy. All right, first bike up looks like it's the 2024 YZ 125, the special edition one, 1967 graphics here. It's about the year my man. <laughs> Mark Tilly was on 125s. It does, it throws it back to late 90s or mid late 90s and uh... Actually the 90s, no, no jo all jokes aside, the 90s, my man Mark Tilly was on a KTM, probably the only one racing Glen Helen National in yeah. the pro in the pro class, the real McCoy, the real deal. The, light, the lights, the fame, the action, the, the autographs, the women, all of it. The ads, like they did ads with me. It, I mean, it was it was chaos. It was complete chaos. Uh, after parties, all that fun stuff. I mean, when they say the 90s, early 2000s were a good good time for motocross, it was a fun time. It here's here's fun. a question. So now you are in your 40s, pro rider. You ride a ton of bikes. I know you have the KX450 and you're stable. You're kind of the Cowie guy for us. You do ride a ton of bikes. 125, you do ride it and you haul butt on it. Um, but just talk about, uh, even at your age, it's a fun bike to ride. I mean, these things are sick for... It is, it's definitely a fun bike to ride. I mean, the Yamaha is one of one of the, the good 125s. It's not very often that we get to do a 125 shootout. There is four bikes in this one. A lot of people will be like, hey, why don't you have all the 125s? It's like, well, these are the 125 motocross bikes that are available in the United States. We got, you know, the Austrian 3 uh, with Gas Gas KTM and Husky, and then you got Yamaha. And Yamaha has been making them when everybody else stopped. So yeah, we'd love to sh uh, shoot a TM, but there's no, uh, there's no importer right now. Uh, we'd love to shoot a Beta, but they don't make a motocross model. We'd love to shoot a Sherco, but same thing, they don't make a motocross model. So. And even the, we've talked about it, we've shown you guys on our social media, even the Fantic, which is kind of like a one YZ125. We'd love to get our hands on one, but you can't in the United States. That's, yeah, they, that's the fact. I that. think they signed a deal with Yamaha because they're using so much, so many Yamaha parts. I think they signed a deal with Yamaha saying that they can't bring them into the United States, which is smart. I mean, it's got a Yamaha motor, all that kind of stuff. So we're here doing what we have available to us. So don't roast us in the comments, don't do that. But like I said, 125s are just fun to ride. I mean, it's a great transition bike for kids that are coming off super minis or 85s that got a growth spurt, like my son just did recently. So he's going straight from a 112 that he's been on for, for a month and a half to a 125. I'm gonna throw him on a Yamaha and we're gonna see what he can do. But Yamaha is the only one that is carbureted and the, the 125 world is kind of changing right now in the last couple of years. Like KTM Gas Gas, Husky, they were really fast carbureted and really, really good bikes. Handling maybe not, not so much. The Yamaha always had the handling on them. But now with the fuel injection, it's not a performance thing. The fuel injection is actually making those bikes slower and Yamaha tried and true they got you know good carburation all that stuff good handling so we're gonna actually see has that shifted is is it all about power and is it all about you know what bike is the best powerful wise because the other three in they, they lost a lot of power and and the feel of a two-stroke Yamaha is tried and true kind of goes through it we know the testing department we know they're not going to change their bike unless it's absolutely perfect and it makes the bike better but you know here we are and let's do this give me just a couple maybe one two three a couple things so right now this bike 
I want to hear a couple positives of each bike. We're not going to tell you who's who's going to win. You're not going to see that in this video. You'll have to see our real shootout video for that. But you will hear some positives uh, from Mark on each motorcycle just to give you an idea of uh, what we think of it. This bike always handles well. The YZ125 is a great handling motorcycle. The, the guys know what they're doing when it comes from straight off the floor. The, you know, good suspension components, tried and true stuff. Yamaha doesn't change stuff very often. Um, this bike got a styling update and some, some new stuff in, in the engine. It actually made it a little bit harder to ride when they updated this stuff. Um, it made it to where it's more of a, a mid and top bike where before it was a bottom and mid bike. It's jetted really well from the factory. Sometimes you throw a little bit of race gas in it, like maybe a, a gallon to every five gallons and it, it runs great. I mean, this is a tried and true motorcycle. It's got Bridgestone tires on it. I mean, you got a cool anniversary edition. They, they come in blue and then they come in the white like what we have we wanted to change it up a little bit and we went with the white and i'll say one more thing i know it's a 125 i'm not a big 125 guy myself but i have owned a grip of yz 252 strokes now um and i will give yamaha kudos they are built well you can you can hammer the living hell out of these things and they will run well and I that's think, I think that's it's might... i'm a big durability guy and that's like for me yamaha the two strokes they hold up the bolts don't come loose everything's where it's supposed to at the end of the ride yeah. as long as you change the oil and air filter like regular maintenance these things don't do anything weird and they just hold up and for a guy that just goes and rips a ton in the in the in the hills on beat tracks that's something that like i'm always looking forward to it's something i know is going to run when i load the bike up well yeah that and i think you might have an addiction we might need to do an intervention <laughs> because you're starting to accumulate yamaha yz252 strokes like most people accumulate underwear and socks like every time i turn around it's like oh I, hey i got another one hey i got another one so we might need to have to have an off-camera talk about this you ain't hanging unless you banging that's my rule <laughs> morning <laughs> you ready to ride 125 ready to ride 125s with the boys you haven't ridden 125s in a while my man carson over here can ride the hell out of a 125 are you gonna be able to hang with him whoa <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, Jerry works for Backyard Design. Carson rides for Backyard Design. So you're gonna take it easy on him because he's kind of, you know, he's a he's a sponsor of yours. But when you get on the track and the helmet's on, does that change? Because he is, he calls himself a pro also. So I don't know. He told me he's been training for this. Got up early, did I a did. jog, did his stretches. I think he's coming on his A game today. But if, no, I'm not holding back. If the oh, okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah, we're so, going. All if in. the opportunity, I'm mean, gonna have to put him present. on the ground if I have to. <laughs> okay, that's. <laughs> right, that's what going I was right to practice now. dub right here. Practice dub, yeah. No, we'll, we'll see. I'm feeling pretty good. You gonna yeah. maybe give Carson some old dog smoke here? Yeah, I got some old tricks up my sleeve. Ron. Exactly. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. What do we got here? Some 125s. The gang of three picking on the on the Yamaha. Yeah. Remember the good old days when we rode 125s and smoked cigarettes on airplanes? We did. We did. Those were. <laughs> Those are the great, we are gather up in the back with the stewardesses. And, and, and we're doing it as soon as these guys get on the, on the track. We'll go to a corner with our can, cameras, pretend like we're, we're shooting and- uh, Have a smoke break? Just have a smoke break. All right, so now we have the 2024 Gas Gas MC125. They got the frame that the KTM and the Husqvarna got and a lot of the updates. Tilly, tell me a little bit about this bike. Uh, like you said, it got a lot of the updates. It's got all new plastics, new styling, everything like that. It's fuel injected now, whereas before it was the last one of the Austrian brands that was carbureted. Uh, Brake Tech braking and clutch components. It's got Maxxis tires, unlike the other bikes. This is the, the Gas Gas brand in general is the uh, budget brand for the, the Austrian manufacturer. So it doesn't have all the stuff that the other bikes have. It's designed to go for a, a guy that doesn't really care for all the bells and whistles. I do know uh, my race friends, sometimes they'll actually buy the Gas Gas because they're buying multiple bikes and they're going racing. And then they'll upgrade the Gas Gas. They, they'll tailor it to the way they want and how they're going to use it and put the bells and whistles that they put particularly want and some they just don't they don't need that come on the KTM and the Husqvarna so it's a less expensive motorcycle but you still get 
a lot of the premium products that come on the Austrian brand. Yeah, it's got same motor, same frame. If you're racing, you're gonna change all this stuff anyways. I think it's about, you know, anywhere from five, 500 to $1,000 cheaper. Um, so that's that's a great it's thing. It's nice for, when you're buying two or three exactly, of these things. Exactly, exactly. So and like like you, you mentioned, some of the racers will do this because they're essentially the same thing, but it's got the electric start. If there might be different suspension settings and stuff but if like you're that. going, if you're going racing, even for you, if you're going racing, no matter what bike you're going racing on, you're getting the suspension done anyway. So if yeah. this comes with softer front and rear than the KTM or the Husqvarna, you don't care because you're you're getting it done anyway. Exactly. So you know, and tires, tires, you're going to change right away, no matter what. You're going to wear out the first set, breaking the bike in. This is one of the bikes that is fuel injected, has been fuel injected here recently. That's not saying that they did it for a performance gain. This is kind of to fit Euro standards and they sell a lot of bikes over in Europe. Fuel injection, the push on fuel injection and to be clean and all that stuff is more of a thing for to meet standards so that they can actually sell the motorcycles. And we didn't change anything. This bike is exactly how you would get it except for the backyard design graphics. This is exactly how you'd get it on the showroom floor and if you went to buy one at your local gas gas. Did you rip the graphics off here? What's like, we're missing, we, what, what's going on? No, 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 no. You can't rip these graphics off these are all in bulk so it's just and then we had jared design jared it's almost uh, like as gas <laughs> and then we had jared from backyard designs put on and i think that's what you're seeing is this i'm this seeing as gas <laughs> hey is it, it an as -gas? it's a 125 and we're gonna have fun riding what's that all about i forgot my shoes can you smoke tilly on the 125 i think i got it Today. Yeah, he's going down. Him and Carson are going down. Both of them. Hey, when 125s are racing at Supercross, they were smoking cigs on airplanes. I know. Pretty sick. I feel like that was more your era. Back when Tilly was racing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have all the bikes lined up. The Gas Gas MC125, the Husqvarna, TC125, the KTM 125SX, and the Yamaha YZ125. They're all lined up. We're shooting the final last shots, and then we're gonna get on the track. What do we think? Do you have any early uh, early predictions on? I'm not gonna predict. Uh, you what, know, actually, you, I wanna no, no, know, no. what bike are you riding today? I don't know yet. I, I, <laughs> it, it all comes down to what gear we have going on, what bike. And bikes. there's been a lot. I've already asked the other guys. They all think that they're gonna be the best 125 rider, and it sounds like all of our test riders are gunning for Tilly, because he's the only one in the group that's raced a 125 national legit these other guys they uh they're young they miss that whole thing they race on to get the f so tilly targets on your back they want to take the 125 national racer down and, and i'm fine with that because they probably can i think I, i'm i'm worried about lepinovich because uh he's about two foot tall and weighs about 100 pounds um and then carson brown you got to worry about carson brown because he's a national caliber guy anyways jared not really worried about i i don't think he's got the 125 in him but I look at the other stuff and say, I'll just wait and uh, then I'll just play the old guy card. But I know what's gonna happen today is we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be smiling. We're gonna be having all kinds of fun. And uh, that's what 125s are all about. You ain't hanging unless you bang it. Yeah, I so mean, mixing gas, hauling. Do you have cigarettes? <laughs> hey, Ron might have some. I, I think Ron's got some cigarettes and maybe. Sean, you on the KTM today? KTM guy. You were just on the KTM the other day. Yeah, I guess uh, I like orange, I guess you could say. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun, ride some dirt bikes at Kahila Creek. Uh, we're all on two strokes, it's gonna be a good time. Everyone's saying that they're gonna smoke you. Jared said he's gonna be faster. Carson said he's coming for you. Tilly said he's gonna bring some old dog heat. Do you have anything? So you kind of sounds like the target's on your back. I'm gonna have fun and uh, we'll let the video do the talking. Are you willing to take people out or what, what's your... I think if the opportunity presents itself, you know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lot of clitter clatter about everyone thinks they're the fastest 125 rider. It's just kind of interesting you guys are being all nice now. I heard a lot of clitter clatter earlier about, oh, I'm the best 125 guy. Sean said it, and I heard you Tilly and Tilly said it, and then Jared said he could easily smoke the both of you. So I think I think this is a little Travis ban banter going on. I don't think anybody said any of that stuff. It's all <laughs> no. It's all, listen, it's all this good. Is, I'm enough. recording what others say, and now I'm just ratting them out. But everyone said they could beat Sean. 
and then everyone said they could beat Tilly, and Jared said he could beat everyone. I, I don't think that that's said, but the reason why we're being nice right now is because our helmets are not on. Our, so once the helmets go on, everything's out the door. So it's gonna be mano y mano out there. Exactly. Yeah. There's a foursome going on. You would just join forces with Sean, you guys could be the island boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think I'm going to t pick up some uh, SLMX school stuff today to get me over the the hump. All right, next up we have the Husqvarna TC125. Give me a, just a couple things, positives only on the TC125. Well, it's got fuel injection. It's got new styling. This is the premier brand for the Austrian bikes. Uh, it's got map switches everywhere. Like this thing has all the bells and whistles. Frembo components, like all of that stuff. So does it have a chance? What do you think? Probably gonna be just like a 250 and a 450 shootout. It's hard to pick a winner. Like it's definitely hard to pick a winner because people have different things that they want out of a motorcycle. I want something on a 125. I want a little bit more mid and top because you want to be able to wind it out. Everybody's kind of saying that they, they're slower than the carbureted version, um, but we don't know. Like I, I got to ride it and see, but I'm excited. Electric start, got a little electric start action going on. So really, it's got all the bells and whistles. Let's figure this out. <laughs> Tilly. Do that. I can do that, no problem. I'm, I'm the one that taught him how to do that. 2024 KTM 125 SX. Tilly, pretty similar to the other Austrian brands, but a couple differences. Really close to the Husky. You know, the all new styling and all that stuff. Um, it's got all the same map switches and, and electric starts that we got going on here. To me personally, between the two, not huge differences on uh, on what it is. I think they're gonna be pretty close to the same speed. Again, this is this is for those KTM guys. This thing has everything that, that you come to accustom to your accustomed with when it comes to buying a KTM. It's got Dunlop tires, Brembo brakes, Brembo components. Not a lot of people that are redoing the stock map. I think there's two or three different companies that have figured it out. Um, I think WMR and um, Twisted Development have, have gotten some stuff going on. Other than that, like stock wise, we're not we're not going through with any of that stuff on these bikes. These are stock. These are completely stock, just how you would buy them. Now that we've done them all, I'm getting really excited to actually ride them. I can't wait to find out which one I like better. What do you got there? This thing right here. You don't want to know what Ron does with this. You got a big hog. I do have a big hog. I think that was intentional. Oh. <laughs> oh, really blew it you're, out. You're riding like a sea rider. trying my best to impress you. It's like the Covey, dude. Oh, yeah. We need that out here, honestly. <laughs> you show these boys really how it's done. Can Covey make a 125? <laughs> <laughs> You're making the request, Carson. They might go for it. Let's get her done. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we suck. <laughs> gas but we have what do we have today jack in the box eating healthy is this what you had when you were racing supercross yeah. same diet same diet same. <laughs> ain't a damn thing changed <laughs> coca-cola spicy chicken sandwich plain what really fuels you up to ride the laps and the agility that you do the spicy chicken sandwich really yeah they're good too where did we go to get one of those any participating jack-in-the-box <laughs> location in Southern California. <laughs> Alright boys, we shot it on the real camera and now we're going to shoot it on the $150 camera. One more corkscrew of doom is what I'm calling it. So let's... <laughs> this is called 
called the corkscrew of doom. I'm ready to corkscrew it. <laughs> So first round of corkscrew of doom <laughs> and there were two losers right there sean and jared they tapped out but there were two final survivors carson brown and mark tilly so once again you're the youngest versus the oldest once again it's a sudden death match between the old dog and the new pup whoever taps out first oh that's not fair we're gonna go all damn yeah, day it matter if i take him out you can do whatever. Anything goes because the Amma is not involved in this, so we can do whatever. <laughs> I'll just take his leg and blow out his ACL all the way. <laughs> but a little too fast to be Ooh, one. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to ask Mark if you put anything <laughs> under this old, this old hey, chassis. The old dogs are coming for you now. They're fired up. They are. I think uh, Mark was tired of sucking sand from the figure eight and he's kind of, it made him rile up, you know, the dog's barking. <laughs> Ripping the YZ125, you really turned it around once we got to the real deal. I don't know, man. That chicken sandwich hit? It hit, yeah. I just. You know, Jared, I'm actually, I'm feeling like I know it's almost, it is, it's February when you guys are watching this. It's February, but I kind of feel like Chris Kringle, Santa Claus right now. I feel like giving a discount. Jared works at Backyard Designs. I am gonna make him make a code DB Vlog. If you guys type that in, first hundred people to type that in, you're gonna get 25% off at Backyard Design. So go pick up some graphics right now. These things are good. I've been running them for over 13 years myself. Jared, what do you think? 25% off sound good? I mean, that's what the boss said. <laughs> Ron, you missed it, but I'll give you a hint. So in this vlog, if you type in DB vlog on backyarddesigns.com, first 100 people, 25% off a full graphics kit. I'm doing it right now. Let me see, right up, first hundred right now? First hundred. Does this have to actually be published first? It or has can to be I published. Get in first? I know you want in, but you're just gonna have to click that little notify on Premiere. So it reminds you when the Premiere hits, and when you see this part, you better go to Backyard Designs and get some new graphics. It better work. It better that, work. Jared, is this code gonna work? It works right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to wait. Okay, I'm number Ron one. Might go. Ron might jump the gun and get some graphics. Hey, 
What? Guess who's here? I hear I said, Ron. I know Ron's here. I've been looking at him all day. Okay. You, you excited? Out, yeah, super now. excited. <laughs> I go down. I don't know how to He's proud of it too. Say hi to Ron. Hey Ron. Are you looking forward to our trip? I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've I've got some uh, some material. I hope we're sh I hope we're sharing room. Jeez. You got anybody? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's One of the cool things about that we, we found out while doing this, I mean, we, we've known about it for a long time. I've had these risk racing stands for a, a long time now. I've had these things outside for like four years now um, since they first came out, but it, they're adjustable. And like, if you look at how the Husky is sitting on there right now, it's sitting level. So we've adjusted them, but just kind of a cool thing. You don't think about with stands. And uh, so shout out to Risk Racing. They, they brought something that if, if you have this stand, can't work on the spokes or, or do tire stuff or wash the bike or whatever. It's kind of cool. You got uh, a bike that's that's setting level now. So And are you doing this or this? You're doing like that. I saw it, the motion. Yeah, well, and then you can go back like that. Or you can recrank. At, or you can go like that oh my. if you want it's it's all up to you it's or, all personal because there's preference. two can you use both hands i think it's i think it's only a one hand job heard... 
Carson, you're at the gas gas all day. Just give me a couple things you like. The biggest thing that I like is that it's still running. That's a plus. The brakes were good, and uh, I never hit the ground all day, but it's not done yet. <laughs> Lepanovich, you are on the KTM 125. Give me a couple positives of this bike, no negatives. It's a lot of fun. Probably the most fun I've had riding a dirt bike in a long time. The two strokes are uh, a good time riding with some good buddies, and uh, I can't complain about today. TC125 for Mark Tilly. Tilly already had the other guys talk, but just uh, give me a couple positives from riding the TC today. The electric starts nice, especially going off and on and doing that kind of stuff. The electric starts really nice. It's the rigidity that I notice on the bigger bikes, I don't notice as much on the 125 because it just kind of bounces around and everything like that. So maybe because it's a little slower, it's not as noticeable? Well, I think- Then at like a 450 there, or... There's not the engine inertia and engine braking and you don't feel all that stuff. And then it's a 125, so you're you're kind of all over the place anyways. But yeah, I mean, it, I think it's a it's a good platform. I mean, with the, the KTM and the gas gas as well. Electric start, you have fuel injection, so there wasn't anything. The fuel injection does do a little a couple little things that you kind of it, it makes you scratch your head a little bit um whereas the yamaha doesn't do that the yamaha is kind of what we're used to but it's one of those things to where the yamaha is what you, we're used to but fuel injection is kind of the future maybe maybe not i mean uh it seems like for regulations and stuff like that it is it's kind of nice because it's one of those things to where what do you want like what are you looking for what what is important to you and uh even you might not agree with what we pick like that might not be what you want to do so it, it's kind of interesting we have carson brown still spinning laps so um, it's definitely kind of cool the other thing i i had forgot about is how much gas these things go through so you know that's kind of interesting too so yz125 jared you got to ride it all day uh give me a couple positives what'd you like about the yz it's got good bottom it's uh suspension stocks like so good like the whole bike is just so it felt stable yeah i haven't touched a clicker so beside nothing and it's been like i feel like i rode pretty good on it so this will definitely be my pick if i had to choose so it's, it's not up to you though it's up to the boss man over there <laughs> if we were doing a chicken sandwich review you'd be the first guy to call yeah or a tender review <laughs> right now i'm on dave's hot chicken that's my so Shout out Dave's Hot Chicken. Yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of uh, vlog seven. Uh, you saw part of our 125 shootout go down today. We had Carson Brown, Jared Hicks, Mark Tilly, and Sean Lepanovich all ride bikes. They uh, actually switched the bikes up a little bit. They're still currently going over which one is better than the other and uh, how they're gonna rank. We're, I'm excited to find out and uh, get to editing and show you guys all the footage uh, we captured. So make sure to go over to dirtbikemagazine.com to stay up to date on all the 125 info that we gathered today, as well as some of the latest news in the off-road and motocross industry. And make sure to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel uh, just to stay up to date with what we're doing. We got a ton of videos coming and uh, we can't wait to share them with you. We'll see you guys.